I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw nine kinds of animal houses. I'm putting this up on the top so I don't forget what I'm doing. This is kind of long so you might want to do this in two sessions. One for drawing and session number two for coloring. Okay, the first thing we have to do is draw our tic-tac-toe grid to divide up our space. Okay, so we draw those straight lines. And over here, we're going to start on the left, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, and then a wavy, wavy line down, and connect. We're going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, curved line out, curved line in, and one little curved line right there. Underneath, we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five curved lines on the left, come back up, one, two, three, four, five curved lines, connect. Inside we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. This is a hive and inside the hive is a bee. Curved line, curved line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect on top. Curve line, curve line, connect on the bottom. Straight line out. One, two, three little straight lines inside. If you have room, curve line, dot, dot. And this is our B. The B lives in the hive. Okay. Next box. Wavy line across little wavy line on the left, connect, little wavy line on the right, connect, and right here we're going to draw wavy line up, down, connect, inside we're going to draw a curved line up and over, connect. Inside we draw a little curved line, curve line down, up, connect, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left, curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Inside we're going to draw a baby circle, little curve line, dot, dot, straight line curve, curve if you can fit it. Around the edge we're going to put little fur lines which are straight lines all the way down and around because this house is a cave and inside the cave is a bear. Okay? Now come over to this box, put a dot on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy line out, wavy line at the bottom, wavy line up, wavy line connect. Inside we're going to put one curved line, two curved lines, three curved lines. Come up to the top and put a dot and we're going to draw a curved line down, curved line over, curved line up, straight diagonal down, connect, come back over here to the dot, curved line, curved line down, connect. Right here, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, put a dot, curve line, curve line, curve line. I put some little straight lines inside because this is a bird and the bird lives in a nest. Okay? Now come over to this box and we're just going to put curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And then we're going to draw a spiral, 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 spiral.
spiral connect and then we're going to go curve line curve line curve line curve line because this is water submerged halfway curve line up down up in out connect one little dot curve line spiral out curve line spiral out if you have the room and this is a whale the whale lives in the water all right now come over here in the middle and we're just gonna draw a straight diagonal straight diagonal on either side and starting right here in the middle we're gonna put another straight line down straight line across and now we're gonna add curve lines on the inside keep going keep going keep going add another curve line keep going keep going curve line curve line we're gonna keep going all the way around because we are building a web and who lives in our web let's write here wavy line curve line straight line one two three four one two three four and that is our spider now once you've drawn that you can come down and add another curve line to make your web a little bit bigger curve line curve line curve line curve line connect okay now come over here to this box put a dot straight diagonal on the left straight diagonal on the right straight line down on the left straight line down on the right come right about here and let's just draw a straight line curve line straight line down we're going to draw a rectangle straight line straight line straight line and this is Fred's house who is Fred he is a dog baby circle curve line curve line straight line up down up down dot dot little baby circle curve line to the left right curve line in the center if you have room there's his tongue and this is a dog who lives in a dog house Fred okay now come over to this one and we're just gonna draw a wavy line big curve line down up wavy line connect and inside we're gonna draw a curve line curve line connect curve line curve line connect big curve line up up dot dot little baby curve line and that is a bunny and a bunny lives in a burrow we're going to do two of these because i think they're interesting because right next to the bunny we're going to put little wavy line big curve line down up wavy line connect and up here we're going to put curve line curve line curve line connect put a little opening curve line and this is a mole little curve line curve line again dot dot and a mole also lives in a burrow they live underground which brings us to this last box wavy wavy line all the way across and now you come up and you just do straight line curve line any design you want curve line curve line 
straight line, straight line, curve line, out, in, out, in, and back up. And these tunnels, tunnels, are where the ants live. And an ant can be baby circle, curve line attached, curve line attached, one, two, three, four, five, six straight lines. One, two, one, two, dot, dot. If you can fit a smile, curve line. That's one ant, and here's another one. Getting ready. Two, three, dot, straight line, straight line, dot, dot. If you can fit his little feet in. Getting ready to go into the tunnel. So these, this is their house. So we have a hive with a bee, a cave with a bear, a nest with a bird, in the water a whale, a web for a spider, a dog in a dog house, a bunny in a burrow, a mole in a burrow, and ants in tunnels. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, my hive, I'm going to make yellow. So I'm going to color that in yellow. And while I have my yellow out, I'm going to give my bee some yellow stripes. Next, I get a brown, and I color my tree branch brown, and some green for my leaves. These are pretty easy. Keep your green out because now you're going to do some bushes by the cave. We're going to use some brown for our ground, mountain top, maybe a mountain hill for the cave. We're going to use some black to show how dark it is inside that cave. And then we're going to use some brown again and color in our bear. Don't color them in so dark you can't see them. Okay? And you can use black to color in his nose. He's pretty little though. Okay? Next, let's make our bird yellow. You can do your bird any color you want. Let's give our bird an orange beak, okay, and I'm going to put some orange little stripes. Next, let's do some blue eggs just to get some color. This is blue-green, and lightly color your nest brown, okay? You'll all do a better job than me. Now my whale, I'm going to make him gray. If you have gray. If you don't, you can do a light black. Not too dark. Blue green water for my top layer. And then underneath my spirals, I'm going to do regular blue. There's my whale. For my web, I'm going to do purple. Just color the background of the web. You don't want to lose your web. Give it a little bit of color. Maybe down here a little bit of color. Color in your web over here. If you can, you can give your spider a little bit of purple too. Okay? Fred in the doghouse. We'll give him his red doghouse. And we will color in Fred. You can color him any colors you want. I'm going to make him with brown ears and a brown tummy. Okay. You can give him a black nose. If you can fit it in, you can give him a little red tongue. Take your time. Next, Bunny. Maybe do some pink inside the ears. 
Let's do some brown in the burrow because it is underground. And a little bit of grass inside. On top, sorry. Next to my mole, a little bit of grass since I have my green out. Next to my ants, a little bit of green. Okay. Now my mole, he should probably be gray. So I'm going to make him gray. But his burrow is underneath. It's underground. So we're going to make him brown. And you definitely are going to do a better job than me. If you have room, I forgot my bunny's nose. We'll make that black. Make the mole's nose black. Leave my ants. Let my ants be red. And let's do their tunnels brown because they live underground. And like I said, you're going to do way better than me on coloring all this in. Okay? All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are nine kinds of animal houses that you can find. Okay, bye-bye.